Hello everyone, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Todd and Julie Chrisley are both serving 19-year sentences in federal prisons. Savannah Chrisley is giving a depressing report on her parents, Todd and Julie Chrisley, who have been imprisoned separately since January. The former reality TV duo was convicted of bank fraud and tax evasion in June 2022 and sentenced to federal prison in November of that year. Todd received a 12-year term, while Julie received a 7-year sentence, and they are both currently serving their sentences separately at FPC Pensacola in Florida and FMC Lexington in Kentucky. Savannah, the former Chrisley Knows Best Star's 25-year-old daughter, is delivering a bleak update on their lives in prison, noting that her parents have not spoken to each other in about 200 days. Savannah posted in her Instagram story on Tuesday, 195 days without speaking to each other. My heart is breaking, she commented beside some old family photos. She also requested her followers to help her family bring justice by providing a link to their new legal defense page. Savannah's update comes as the Chrisley family's legal team works to overturn the guilty convictions and get Todd released to house confinement. Todd's motion was denied earlier this week, according to the family's attorney, Jay Surgent. It's very, very unfortunate, Surgent told People. And that matter is now being investigated internally, and we believe there was no reason why it should not have been processed, even in light of his prison sentence. Surgent also claimed that his customers are subjected to ridiculous living conditions, which Savannah and her brother Chase Chrisley, 27, have lately discussed. As previously reported by Parade, two of Todd and Chrisley's children discussed their parents' time in prison on a recent edition of the Unlocked with Savannah Chrisley podcast, comparing the terrifying living conditions to fear factor. They both now don't have air conditioning, Chase explained. They both live in states where the temperatures can reach 100 degrees and there is no air conditioning. Savannah further said, And now mom has rattlesnakes slithering across the floor in front of her. Chase explained that the snakes were not rattlesnakes, but some other type of venomous snake. EI don't care if you've killed someone. If you're in a government facility, you should have air conditioning, Chase insisted, while his sister added, Air conditioning is just the tip of the iceberg when you've got black mold, asbestos, lead-based paint, snakes.